Not your keys, not your cheese. It's Crypto 101 and the first thing that many hear when they enter the space. But not leaving our crypto on platforms that control our private keys is a lesson that many investors have to learn the hard way. The events of the past few days being no exception. And we'll tell you all about it right after this. Welcome everybody, good as always to have you along. Binance set crypto Twitter abuzz yesterday when Bitcoin withdrawals were suspended on the exchange for a total of five hours. The move was blamed on a batch of stuck transactions, but coincided with an 11% drop in BTC and was not the first time that Binance has blocked withdrawals in moments of market volatility. In a Twitter post-mortem, Binance reminded users that BTC withdrawals were only blocked on the Bitcoin network itself and that users could still withdraw BTC on other networks such as Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. Wrap your head or coins around that. But investors were likely spooked by a more serious event on Sunday when crypto lending app Celsius Network announced that it was pausing all withdrawals, swaps, and transfers on the centralized platform until further notice. Now, the reason given for the block, which came after a Sunday trading bloodbath, was that the company wished to protect the interests of their community. What appears to have happened, though, is that a number of Celsius users were liquidated from collateral positions as a result of not having access to their funds. Speaking of collateral, Celsius itself holds the single biggest wrapped Bitcoin debt position on MakerDAO, worth a whopping $503 million. And said, to be liquidated should the price of Bitcoin drop below $16,800. Considering that Celsius was reportedly one of the seven large account holders that led the sell-off of UST last month, it seems likely that the interests of the Celsius community translates to the interest of Celsius not to be liquidated out of existence, as happened with Terra Luna. The move also comes just two weeks after Celsius had to defend itself from what some on Twitter dubbed involuntary hodl mode, a series of security measures that made it harder for users to well, you guessed it, withdraw their funds. A Coinbase shares also fell by over 14% on Monday in what looks like to be a big move of no confidence in CeFi products across crypto. After all, if the aim is that we unbank ourselves in order to join the blockchain revolution, then it doesn't make sense to put our savings into another centralized product that can freeze our assets or treat their customers as unsecured creditors in the event of a bankruptcy. Now, in contrast, a non-custodial wallet like Exodus or MetaMask will keep your assets safe come rain or shine because the developers have absolutely no way to access your funds or your wallet. So as long as you protect your seed phrase and your password, you can safely hold it without worrying that some company executive has decided to invest your money into leveraged debt positions or other speculative products. So spread the gospel to your friends and family, not your keys, not your crypto. Thanks for watching, everybody. We've got a lot more videos for you, so just click any of these to keep watching. Until next time, hold along.